Hello everybody and welcome. My name is Omar McAdam and welcome to my 3D printing corner. So I have spent uh, quite a bit of time uh, over the last few days trying to make life easier, not just for myself, but for everybody else out there in the 3D printing community. And one of the main things that a lot of new people have questions regarding uh, and old people have just kind of put as a fact of life is leveling a bed manually. Now, if you have one of those cool, crazy, snazzy auto-leveling kits, or your printer even just comes with auto-leveling, then this video is not for you. But if you have one of the printers where you still need to go around and twist to adjust some knobs and some uh, dials in order to get your bed level, then this tool is going to save you a lot of time, a lot of hassle, and it's going to be a lot safer. Now, before I proceed, I want to give a safety warning. Never ever move your printer's carriages or axes by hand, okay? The reason why is because stepper motors can actually generate current when you move them by hand. And this current gets fed back all the way along the back into your control box and onto your control board. Now, what will happen when that current goes in? If it's a small enough current, nothing. But if you push it hard enough or you do it too often, the current can build up and you can actually damage components on your motherboard. And this is one of the primary reasons of board failure for 3D printers out there. So what have I done to make this easier and safer? I've created a little script called the bed leveling. Uh, I've forgotten the name of it now. It's a bed leveling script. You'll find the name in the description and in the title of this video. What the script does is that it actually moves your axes around and allows you to go through and level the machine. Now, previously, a lot of scripts have come out, but they've all been timed, so you only have five seconds or eight seconds to quickly put your piece of paper underneath and do everything. This one here is guided, so it will actually have instructions on the screen, and it waits until you are done leveling whichever corner before it moves on to the next one. So I have preheated my machine just so that we don't have to sit here waiting around on the video. The way that you use this file is you download it, you copy it to your SD card, you go into your machine, and you print it just like you would print any other model. The first thing the machine does is it preheats the bed to 50 degrees and the nozzle to 150 degrees. The reason why is because most beds are actually made of metal and metal contracts and expands when it's heated. So in order to get the most accurate leveling, you should always have a heated bed and nozzle. So here's the printer heating up. Once it's heated, it's going to start to make some noises. That's the first cool thing about the script. It makes beeps to alert you when something is happening or when you need to give some input. And then also it tells you on the bottom here or depending where on your screen your messages come up, it will give you instructions or information on what it's doing. So right now it's just heating. So it's gonna tell you that it's actually heating. And as we can see here, it's climbing up very nicely. How often should you level your bed? This is a question that a lot of people kind of say it's entirely up to you. I don't think it's necessary to level your bed every single time you print. If you ever feel like your first layer isn't sticking as much as it should, then you can go through and you can run this again and you can do the bed leveling. All you need is a piece of paper, okay? I have just a scrap here I'm gonna use for demonstration purposes. There's all of my notes. And as you can see, the printer beeped and it said ready to level. And then it says wait for user. Now, wait for users when you need to give the printer some input. And the way that you do that is you just click your encoder or your knob over here. And now it says it's actually going to go through and home the machine. And if we take a wider shot, we can see here the machine's going to go and home through. Now, keep watching the screen because it's going to tell you what it's going to do afterwards. Every step, it tells you where it's going and what you need to do. So now it's moving to the front left corner. And it says adjust front left. And then you would go through with your piece of paper and you would put it underneath and you would adjust it to your correct level, adjust the knobs, do everything you need to do, get it nice and straight. And then when you look at the screen, it says, wait for user. Now, whenever the screen says wait for user, it means that it's just gonna wait for you until you click the encoder to say that you're ready. As soon as you do that, it will move on to the next one. Now, unfortunately, sometimes it does go into the menu depending on your printer. So you may get a little bit frustrated by that, but don't worry about it, okay? So again, here we have wait for user. We're gonna go back out into the wide view, and we're just gonna go through the routine. Now the printer does this 
three times. It goes to each of the corners three times. If you feel that the process is a bit slow and your printer has a feed rate or a speed adjustment, you can just quickly turn it up. Okay? I'm going to go up to 166% because I feel that's okay. We're only do the, doing this for demonstration. Okay, so wait for user. Click the next one. And you can see the printer is now moving even more rapid to the next place. So then we can go through, put our piece of paper, adjust the rear left as you would. There's a lot of videos around about that. I'm not going to go into details here. I may be not the best person to do this. Okay, moving to the front left. Now, it's done one circle, okay? It's good to check your bed level every so often to see how it is. Now, just before this, I did actually loosen up this front corner knob here. Uh, I don't know why. I was thinking I was maybe going to do a proper thing, so let me just fix that before I forget. Okay, that feels, feels about right, okay? Now, as I said, it will go through three times. If after the first or second time you feel that it's enough, you don't need to go through the full three, you can then go into um, your menu and you can stop the print. So for example here, I can go and I can select stop print, okay, and then it would stop the print here. I'm going to go through all the way because there's a nice little jingle at the end, plus there's also one other thing that the printer does. A lot of people use glass uh, on their heated beds. Now the problem with glass is that it's very difficult to get glass that is uh, very flat. So if you have a bed which is 300 by 300, one advisable piece of uh, equipment that you can get is a bunch of mirrors. Now you can see them underneath here. I got mine from IKEA. Okay, they're 12 inches by 12 inches or just over 300 by 300 millimeters. Okay, and let me rip the label off instead of pulling the full thing out. Oh, there we go, just damaged it. They're called IKEA lots. Okay, you get a pack of four, they're 12 inches by 12 inches, and I think they cost about eight dollars or about seven euros if you're in Europe, and they are beautifully flat. Okay, now why am I mentioning this? Because after the printer has been around for the third time, it's actually going to go into the center of your bed, okay, and it's going to allow you to check to see if your bed is bowed, i.e., there's a bit of a curve, a bit of a dip down in the center or up in the in the center and um, if it is then replace your glass okay there's no point in trying to print on a curved dipped concave convex whatever bed okay it's just a pain in the ass you're going to spend a lot of time trying to level your bed so now here it goes to the center and then again with a piece of paper you can go through and you can check is that the right amount that there feels about good for me and then the printer is going to say waiting for user, and this is the fun part. It's finished. All done, completely done, nothing else left to do. Now, currently the script is out for a few printers. Okay, if you go to omarmcadam.com slash 3D printing, you will see the list of printers there. The script will be updated regularly to fine tune the timings and to fine tune the speed. If your printer is not available on there, then please use the request function and I will try my best to create a script for you. Now this first script took just over five hours to do. This was all manual G-code work because of the nature of our printers and not all G-code functions work and not all motherboards support everything. So if you appreciate it, then please share this. Let's help everyone else out. It makes the process a lot easier and a lot simpler and I hope you enjoy it. Until next time.